Hey guys, I just got to the lake here. Brought my boat, bringing the mattress out. I couldn't carry the, the futon frame by myself. And this is a solo trip, so at least I'll have a mattress to sleep on. Uh, but I found somebody on the lake who has built a new dock here and they are trying to get rid of these old logs, which are perfect for my boom. So I am going to be towing them away. Do I know how to tow logs in an old dock? I'm taking the dock too, because there's some more logs underneath it, but let's hope we don't have any incidents. Well, I'm gonna do it in two trips because I've been uh, known to be a little overzealous in the past and have things go wrong. So I'm gonna come back for that big dock section because it's a little bit more awkward, but these are two nice 25 foot Big daddy's here, that'll make a great uh, wave break. So now we just got a little slow road up to the property. So I kind of got to go way out and around through the channel now. It's going to be a little bit of a drive. Well, I got a little headwind here, but almost at the cabin. It's been, uh, you know, just braving the weather out here. It's pretty terrible. really much to see or look at. It's just, just a bunch of glorious mountains and sunshine. Hey guys, I'm happy to announce that our 99 cent Makers Mob woodworking sale is back. This is our biggest woodworking sale of the year. We're inside the Makers Mob. You'll not only get access to learn my top woodworking projects, you will also get over 90 woodworking tutorials with plans from YouTube's top makers like Jimmy DeResta, John Heiss, Neil Paskin, Frank Howarth, John Peters, and of course myself. And right now, if you click the link in the description below, we are also hosting a two month router bit challenge where you can upload your projects that you have made and compete with woodworkers at different skill levels from all over the world in order to win thousands of dollars in prizes from CMT Tools and Taylor Toolworks. So click the link in the description below, learn woodworking from YouTube's top makers and take advantage of this 99 cent sale before it ends. See you on the inside. Well, I was having a hell of a time towing this awkward shaped dock, so decided to push it instead. It's got a little uh, cutout for a boat, so I just rammed my boat inside of it, and uh, I'm just pushing it. <laughs> got myself a barge. It's kind of nice. I can go out on the deck and walk around while we're underway here. The dock is pretty much toast, so I'm gonna just be ripping it all apart and burning all the decking and framing, which is kind of rotten, and I'm just gonna try to salvage the logs, the floater logs that are underneath it to uh, build my, my log boom up. So it's gonna be a bit of work, but the logs were free. Well, all of it was free, so can't be free. Well, this is not looking too fun. I've probably got about another uh, 40 minutes, 40 minutes to go, and it's starting to rain. So gotta love the li island life. Should have brought my Gore-Tex. Well, my friends,
spring. The land is coming alive here. These beautiful little seasonal ferns sprout up. And create like a little three foot tall, I don't know what you'd call it, bloom, a plume of ferns. You can see they're just everywhere coming up. It'll be nice and green here and hopefully that'll... Yeah, it's green. So when I ripped up all this decking, I realized like it's actually, you know, the one side's pretty weathered, but it's not rotten. Like it's still intact one inch decking and so I thought you know I ripped it all off so should probably use it for something instead of just burning it that it's pressure treated so I don't really want to burn it um, so I think I'm gonna just denail everything and probably use it for like a tent platform or maybe a little treehouse decking or something like that for the kids because, you know, it's still got some good life in it, especially if I flip all the boards over and put the uh, the underside up, which is in still decent shape. So I'm going to just denail them all and stack them up. And, you know, it's not I don't typically do this sort of stuff where I salvage old materials just because I end up not using it or not liking it. But when you're living out here off grid, you kind of got to put everything to to use because either that or you gotta go buy materials, which is crazy expensive right now, and all the back and forth transporting it, right? So this was free, I got the dock for free on the lake. So let's put everything we can to use. That's my new mentality here. That was a lot of wood, but that should make a perfect uh, deck for a treehouse for the boys. Don't know when I'll build that, but eventually. So now I need to keep ripping apart the dock framing, get those rotten girders all burned up, free up the logs, pull out the big 12 inch Galvi spikes, make sure the logs are all clean. And then I'm going to plunge holes through each end of the log with a chainsaw. That should be fun in the water so that I can put thread the chain through the log because the, the neighbor's log boom, they wrap the chain around the log and put those big uh, U spikes in, but they, uh, they ripped apart in a winter storm. So I'm going to make sure that I put the chain through the log and link it together with a shackle. So that way the log would basically have to rip in half before it would come apart. And the other positive is, that was a whole bunch of work ripping apart this dock. I'm still not even done, but there's 14 barrels underneath that, 55 gallon plastic drums. Um, so I've got 14 barrels now, which are gonna be perfect forms for my anchors for the log boom. So I'm just gonna put a big threaded rod through two of them, fill them with concrete, drop them off. They'll be about 2,200 pounds each, I think, if um, the internet is correct. So that should be plenty to hold the log boom in place. 
I was gonna do those big highway blocks, but there's just way too much logistics getting them up here and putting them on the boat and all that sort of stuff. So I've got these rain barrels and if I link two of them together, I think that'll be plenty heavy, sink down into the silt. And, uh, and if they're linked together, two side by side, they can't roll and move. Cause they'll have a big threaded rod, galvanized threaded rod through both of them, so. I gotta get this log boom in place here cause the winds are starting to pick up now that the weather's getting better. So I think while I've got these logs kind of in one spot that I should try to cut as many holes as I can while they're kind of stationary. Cause if they're all floating around and I've ripped all this apart, then they're gonna be even trickier to, to maneuver and to get the holes cut. So they're stationary right now. So I'm gonna go and try and plunge as many holes through. I might have to put a little piece of plywood across there or something that I can stand on. I could probably do this one from here. So let's give it a shot. Be nice to have a cameraman, someone who could hold the log while I cut it. Sure would be nice. Well guys, this dock is kicking my ass. Why I thought I should do this by myself, I do not know. Well, I, I kind of do know, I've made a habit of biting off way more than I can chew. So, oh, I am running out of steam here. 
just about bailed into the water for the second time. But yesterday I went into the water standing on a rotten beam. Broke when I stepped on it. The good thing is that the water doesn't feel as cold when you're fully dressed. So that, that's the positive there. And, um, and then I stepped onto the log out of the boat and friggin almost did a split. Nearly pulled my groin. I don't know how I didn't injure myself there, but just this one leg went into the water. So there's a lot to do and only two hands. So hmm. I've got to drill another eye bolt into this rock to be able to anchor the log boom to the shore. And then I've got to run a flank the chain through that and into the eye bolt. I've got two eye bolts that I'm going to use just for good measure. And then I got to run it out to my buoy. So all this is in the way. So I need to untether my dock from the buoy, tie all these logs to the dock, move the dock over to where it's going to go. Use maybe my, my anchor for the skiff here to try and anchor the dock so that it doesn't just float into shore because right now it's being held by the, the big anchor that's way out further but that's what I got to tie my log boom to so I got to link up all these logs at least three of these big 30 40 footers and try and get them out to that anchor point with chain and shackles in water that's freezing cold I don't want to get in the water so I have to do this from a boat by myself A little challenging indeed, but I'm learning a lot. It's time for a sandwich. Please make sure to give this video a like and a share and make sure to check out the links in the description box below so you don't miss out on our 99 cent Maker's Mob sale as well as huge savings on all sorts of CMT tools. Till next time, guys. Samurai out.